Does anyone know who Louis Teague is? He directed the other Stephen King movie, Firestar, Tur, and he also directed a personal favorite of mine, Wedlock. Wedlock? You don't remember what? I'm just gonna fucking show you the fucking thing. This is Wedlock. A fun, underrated thriller. Starring with Brown. Directed by Louis Teague. The same guy that directed Cat's Eye. And Cat's Eye, is it underrated? Yes. Does anyone ever talk about Cat's Eye? No. Am I going to be the only fanboy that's going to talk about it? If I have to be the only fanboy that likes this movie and talks about it, I'll be that fucking fanboy. Cause I searched reviews for that movie, and I only found one guy talking about it. So, now there's two of us, bitch. But, Cat's Eye is basically three short stories piled into one. And what could you, you know, learning about? The main story is... Uh, with Drew Barrymore, a cat's going to protect her. You know, the cat sees this vision, he has to go to protect Drew Barrymore. Or, and the three, sh the other two short stories that he are in between are just, you know, filler. Because the stories, the other two stories, the other story with Drew Barrymore wasn't long enough, so I made two more. Three short stories. Basically, the first one is with James Woods. He's trying to quit smoking, and he goes to this company, Quitters Incorporated, and basically what Quitters Incorporated is, it's a uh, anti-smoking clinic headed up by Alan King, and, you know, Andy Stone from Casino, and, you know, he shows him a room, a shock room, where you have, where he has a kit, kitten in there, he turns on some music, and he lets sparks fly in the room, you know, because there, uh, you know, a little gizmo under there that sends sparks through the floor, and it's an iron floor, so it's gonna, it's you're gonna get electrocuted no matter where the fuck you stand. And and it shows him that and explains to him, on your first offense, we put your wife in there. On your second offense, we put your daughter in there. On your third offense. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to send someone out to rape your wife. On your fourth offense, they just give up. And he shows him a gun. And, you know, the other parts of the story are basically James Woods trying to deal with the fact that he can't have any nicotine. He can't. He loves his wife too much. And there's actually a scene where he goes into the, where he actually goes into his office and he's gonna have a smoke. But he sees that there's a guy in, there's a fucking guy in the fucking closet. And, and then he just breaks the cigarette, cigarette in half and goes on the stairs saying, I love my wife. And then, then next, the next morning, you see a guy walk, running out there. You know, he's in running gear, but when you see his shoes, it's, it's off his shoes. You don't run in fucking off his shoes, you know. And then Alan King meets up with him. At, her, at his daughter's school and saying, he says, I didn't smoke. I didn't. The, if you would have, you wouldn't be here right now. You'd be down in our, my office looking at your wife in the little room. And then there's this scene where he goes to a party where everybody's fucking smoking. Every fucking buddy and he's trying, he's trying to quit. So, uh, and Basically, that ends with him. There's a scene in the car where he, he actually takes a puff. Because he didn't think anyone was looking. The one guy was looking. He went to his house. He picked up his wife. Then he goes to down to Alan King's office where he walk, he watches him in the little room. Come on, motherfucker. You want to dance? You want to fucking dance? Beach. Man. Oh shit, I don't have any time to go through the Robert A story. Well, moving on. You see, he's heard, you know, dance around in the room, and then there's a scene, Alan King says, she's either going to slap him hard enough to uh, knock his head off, 
or squeeze him hard enough to give him a hernia. And she actually ends up, she loves him too much to leave him. And then, you know, he quits smoking, but he just, you know, a little after monitoring, you know, because smokers, heck, smokers tend to develop a weight problem. He sets a maximum weight, and, you know, they joke about, like, I'll send someone over to cut your wife's little fingers off. Little finger off. And then he's joking about it at a dinner party, and then a woman says, he says, Twitter's Incorporated. Woman lifts up her hand, and guess what? The pinky's missing. Then we'll get on to our next short story. And that's a picture of James Woods, and that's a picture of Robert Hayes. You know, the guy from 5050, the guy from um, Airplane, Airplane 2. It's Robert Hayes. Basically, he he's... He's sleeping with this woman that's actually married to this, you know, big... A casino money owning guy that he doesn't take things like that very well so he has him picked up and he gives him a gives him a little you know wager there's, there's enough heroin in, in the back of your car to get you locked up in the slammer until you're dead but I have a wager and he just explains the, this wager to them that he's supposed to walk around you know walk a shirt circle on the ledge of his building and he was able to do that he gets five million dollars and his wife so he starts walking but you know the guy's tormenting him he you know he go throws his shirt at him and shit go, boop, 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 and then many times where Robert Hayes almost falls off there's one time where you know he this pigeon is there you no know, picking at his leg, going boom, 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 and it, you know this part of the leg is all bloody. And then he gets this little in inter shot where he said, where he just goes, "Take this, you flunk shit house!" Boom, kicks the motherfucker. And yeah. And welcome to my room, you Mad Max too. But um. And he actually makes it around. When he gets up there, there's this guy waiting for him. He says, you know, now, now, Mr. Norris. A guy walks in with a, you know, a silence pistol. The pistol you see here. And he says, this is, I don't well shot my bets. It's just, I'm just a very, very, very sore loser. Oh, yeah, Louis Tiki also directed Navy Seals with Charlie Sheen. Like Bean. Shit, I'm, I'm dry through it right now. Mm. Basically, and then he and he rolls over this cart, which actually has his wife's head in it and the mon and some money, and Robert Hayes actually makes a bet with him, you know, to make him do the exact same thing, and what, and he actually falls off trying to kick the kick the bird off. And then the final story with Drew Barrymore. Basically, there's a monster in the wall, and the cat's there to protect Drew Barrymore from it. She, the monster's gonna suck all the breath out of her. And the mom, she actually thinks that the cat, cat is bad, bad news. So she doesn't, she doesn't want to allow it. And she kicks him out, and and they're just you know scenarios like when she thinks she, thinks he killed her bird, but. Uh, it was the you know the troll in the wall and but and she sh sends him off to the cat shelter and to be terminated but he escapes he gets there in time he throws the troll into the fucking fan and kills it so the mo ultimately and the mom lets Drew Barrymore keep the cat and all all that's well and it's well well I'm the Aslan Robot thank you for watching my review of Cat's Eye be back for more. If you want to come back for more, there's a subscribe button right up there. We will see you later. This has been my contribution. Peace.